Hey guys, this is Aaron with New Bus Farm. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, the result of last fall's overseeding with Dutch white clover on my lawn. Uh, and I want to talk about uh, kind of why I did it and uh, what's cool about it. So, as you can see, uh, last year I all I did was overseed uh, my existing lawn with white clover, Dutch white clover, and I, I already had some Dutch white clover growing in the yard already, uh, so um, there was some existing, but I went ahead and overseeded again. As you can see, uh, it's been pretty prolific. Um, now, I'm a beekeeper, uh, and as you can see, we've got bees everywhere on this Dutch white clover. They absolutely love it. Um, this was the reason I planted my yard up with clover, uh, was for forage for the bees. And it, I, I would say out of everything that I've seen, you know, sweet clover and Dutch white clover uh, out here seem to be their favorites. Um, I mean, they, they are on this stuff all day long. And right now, um, this clover is really loving all the sunshine and, and it's flowering out real well. And the bees are all over it. So the nice thing about clover, or the several nice things I want to talk about clover. Uh, first of all, if you get the correct varieties, it doesn't grow very tall before it heads out. Um, and so, you know, this hasn't been mowed in a week and a half probably, and it's maybe four or five inches tall. So that's one nice thing about it. Um, second nice thing about it, it doesn't require any fertilizer because it is nitrogen fixing. Uh, you know, most lawns require a nitrogen fertilizer. Uh, this stuff produces its, or fixes its own nitrogen out of the air uh, due to a beneficial relationship between uh, certain bacteria and the root systems of the plant. Uh, so it requires no nitrogen fertilizer. Um, I haven't watered this at all this year, um, and it's doing great. When it gets real hot up into the 100 degree weather, uh, I'll probably be, have to water it a bit uh, to keep it green. Sometimes it will heat kill. Um, if you see multiple days of 100 degree weather and uh, it, it doesn't get any water. So, but I mean, that's, <laughs> most lawns can't, can't handle that. That's uh, pretty normal. Um, uh, what else do I want to talk about? I mean, obviously, uh, it is a fantastic bee forage. You can see they're working these flowers nonstop. Clover makes a really nice light honey. Um, so... Uh, I mean, this is something I'm probably going to continue to do if I need to. If the clover thins out, I'll probably overseed again. But everywhere I keep mowed short on my lawn, I think I'm going to continue to try to keep seeded to, to clover. I'm, I've been really impressed. Um, I mean, my bees are all over this stuff nonstop. So if you guys have any other questions uh, about clover, about uh, anything else I'm doing on the farm here, uh, hit me up. Uh, write me a comment, whatever. Come check us out at newbuzzfarm.com. Um, give, give you an idea of what we're doing out here and uh, kind of our vision.